So we've got a few more steps in this project, and I want to run through those, and I'll walk you through the process. I recommended a number of different sites. One is Free Music Archive, and it is honestly a great place to find music. This guy's one of my favorites. His name is Dexter Britton, and he's put up quite a bit of stuff that's free. So I went ahead, and uh, I think I downloaded this one. Let me just play it for you. And you know that fits my piece just perfectly. Now this is six minutes and 48 seconds. I would really want to know, uh, you know, if I'm using a minute, I know I want to know I've got a good minute somewhere in there. I don't have to use this from beginning to end, but I do want to use something from this. Uh, we use this site because it is um, a place where you can get music that is licensed for use by anyone. There might be some restrictions, and in this case there are just a few. But it is free. It is uh, it is not copyright officially, but it has what's called a Creative Commons license, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. So um, I just happen to know this guy's work. I know it's going to work. So I push the download button right here, and I downloaded it, and it's right here in my account. I've also done a voiceover, and I used my Dropbox to transfer that over. So I've downloaded that as well. And let me just move the internet out of the way. And I will show you my project folder. I'm now in audio sources. And I have placed my voiceover right here. And I have placed my music right here. So now I know where everything is. Let's get this in there. Well, I really need to make sure they show up. Um, in my project. So I need to go to the media browser. I need to go to C, which is the main drive. I'm going to go to users. And it's only me and Clark Kent on this machine. Uh, my folder's on my desktop. And let me just get there quick. Master folder. 2014. I know 09's next. Art project. And I want to just run down to get to my audio sources. And I have voiceover. I want to import that. And I knew I had my other one. Let me go back one. I have a crazy slow computer. And hold on one second. OK, so. Not what I wanted to do. Sorry about that. Um, I have a voiceover, and let me just drag down. I also have music, and I want to import that. OK, so both my things are imported, and they show up right here. So let's go ahead. Let's move a few things out of the way. I don't need this anymore. I don't need this right now. These are my big things I need to see. These are my tools. Let me move those a little smaller. OK, so I have audio, which is in a couple of my clips. And for right now, I'm going to turn that off so I don't hear that. You can just double check. I'll play it. And they're purely silent. I want to go ahead and put in my voice track. And I'm going to put that in, um, let's put that in audio track three. And it's, as you can see, way th too long. I like to see what tracks look like. So I am about to open things up a little bit. And you open things generally by doing that. I can now see the audio waves, OK? If I want to raise or lower the track, I can just use this little slider. But I'm going to leave that at the default. This is my voiceover. And ah, you can see I'm now out of audio tracks. I could add a track, but I'm going to use track two. And my voiceover. Maybe when I listen to things, I'm going to decide, gee, my voice should go right here. In downtown Waterville, where a gaze has an interesting boundary. A cyborg captured a sense of the attention, the light, and tone. Now, big problem, that music is incredibly loud for what I want to do. So I want to open this a little more. And you'll see I, I haven't changed anything, just my view, OK? I'm not going to make my voice any louder. Um, generally, I like to hit between minus 6 dB and minus 12, okay? If you hit 0, 
it means that you are going to make every speaker squawk. So you never want to hit zero. It'll turn red up here. Minus six to minus 12. And let's turn off audio track three. Let's just listen to my voice. A little low. And I'm going to go ahead and increase this a tiny bit and not too much. And it was very difficult because he's a very dark person. See him so right up there now. The town here. And that was a pretty clean recording. Uh, really so I'm right in there. Now let's listen to both of them together. You're doing this with headphones, okay? Interesting challenges. I tried to capture the sense of my attention. And I feel like the music is getting a little louder here. So what I want to do is I want to make my music softer, but not all the way through. So that's kind of nice. So I'm going to go right here, and I'm going to add what's called a control point. And there's a couple ways to do it, and this is my favorite way. I'm just going to get my cursor right there, hit Control and click, and you'll see I just made one. I'm going to make another one right next to it. Okay, and my voiceover is going to trail off about here, so I'm going to make two more down here. Okay, so now I have the center section, and I can pretty much just slide it. Now you'll see it's going to break a little bit, so I'm really just going to slide that down just a little bit. Now if things are a little tough to move around, just simply make this a little taller. Okay, I don't need to see that right now. Um, I really don't care about the video right now. I just really want to work on this. It's a little tricky because I'm trying to do it in a small box. Okay, so now if I go ahead and play this, working in downtown Waterville really gave me some interesting challenges. I tried to capture the sense of my now it's dropped off. Now this is dropped off a little, still a little loud. So I want to pop another control point in here, and maybe right there. And now I'm going to go ahead and bring that down a tiny bit more. And I may bring this down a tiny bit more. And I don't want to have things go up or down like really crazy high. So I want to um, go ahead and drag that out a little bit. Now, see how that's sort of a curve? I can right click this and change it to linear instead of auto bezier. And now I have a nice straight angle, very nice climb, a nice gentle climb like that, okay? So that's the real basics of audio. Working in downtown Waterville really gave me some Let me just go ahead and adjust this one more time. I'm going to make this linear, and I'm going to kind of ease this one in, come down a little bit, something like that, maybe like that. And you do this, you know, you don't do this stuff quickly. You do this with headphones on. Some interesting challenges. I tried to capture the sense of my you play a little bit. You realize, okay, it's still a little too powerful. I really want to bring that down. And actually, it's like still crazy powerful. So I really want to come down here. And it was very difficult because he's a that very feels loads person, better. So um, your voice should be what we hear. The music we want to hear, but it should really glide us through the process. It should not overpower this in any way. The best music that you can use is the kind of music that we are aware of, but we're not focused on. If I pop ACDC or Black Sabbath or any of these old bands you folks may not even know the names of because they're so old from the 80s in here, and you hear crazy vocal tracks and drums and all that kind of stuff, and I'm talking about the peace and harmony of downtown Waterville, you're not going to hear me at all. So that's what we really want to focus on, is uh, getting your audio balanced just right. When you do a lot of work like that, you want to save things. That's really key. And you really want to listen to things. Um, just one more thing. Imagine my project is over here. So I want to hit my forward slash, and you'll see I have all this audio to deal with back here. I just treat it like a clip, and you can do a couple things. You can just um, scroll it like that, or you can actually click and delete. Now, the last thing I want to have happen is for my 
um, you know, my clips to end and music to just hit this sort of crazy wall. And then stop, right? It looks unfinished. So I'm going to add a couple control points in here. And I'm going to take my music down kind of gradually so that as my project comes to an end, it's going to fade out. Now you'll see it still hits that sort of wall. And I'm still winding up with curves for my control points. I don't really want that. So I am going to make sure that that's gradual enough. And if you got to hit the plus key and really get to see this carefully, you got to do that too. Okay. So you want that closing angle to be nice and gentle. And people won't know it ended. It'll just sort of glide out. Okay. So uh, that is uh, applying or inserting music and a voiceover into your project.